Moving on to the manual muscle test for brachialis. I have my individual in a seated position with his arm resting at his side. As we've already been mentioning several times, to try to take out biceps, we're going to leave him in a pronated position, and I'm going to ask him to flex his elbow as far as he can. Now, again, depending on the size of their anterior arm, you will notice you will see a tissue to tissue barrier. So people's flexion will depend basically on how big their muscles are in this area. So I'm going to ask him to do that action for me. Great. So flexion at the elbow joint. I'm going to take him to a 90 degree bend with his arm resting at his side in a pronated position. I'm going to stabilize and then push down for again, five, four, three, two, and one, so that was the brake test for brachialis. And then starting from an extended elbow, he's gonna push his way all the way up against my resistance. So again, in a pronated position of four. That is the active brake and concentric for brachialis. Keep lengthening brachialis now. So because brachialis only goes from humerus to ulna, and its only action is elbow flexion, bringing the person into elbow extension is the length position. Now the end feel for elbow extension should be bone on bone contact. So as soon as you feel bone on bone contact, you've reached the end range for that brachialis. If it was tight for some reason, you would actually end up getting a tissue stretch before you get bone on bone contact. And just be aware that some people have laxity with inside their elbows, so you might be going into hyperextension, but you're still feeling for what is the end feel when you fully extend the elbow joint. That concludes all of the items for brachialis.